Hey, this is uh, one of the most commonest private rain props that you'll find nowadays. It's a molded, all one piece, eight round Garand rifle clip. It was used as a non seeable prop. That is to say, molded in black plastic. It was meant to be put inside ammo belts, uh, bandoliers, things like that. It was not meant to be seen. Those that were meant to be seen are usually molded or spray painted in the proper colours. So where you get stuntmen wearing German mess tins, German water bottles, K98 bayonets, gas mask tins, things like that, they're usually painted in the appropriate colours. Whereas things that are black painted like this were meant to go into pouches, holsters, whatever, and they were never meant to be seen. Um, they made things like MG42s, which I think they only made about four or five of them. They made quite a few hundred um, full rubber pulls of Colt 45s, which were meant to go into pouches, into holsters, things like that, never meant to be seen. The most numerous common item that you'll find is the eight round Garand clip. So if you see one in black rubber like that, it's an ex Private Ryan prop. It's molded in not a hollow rubber or a hard rubber. It's a spongy, pliable rubber, so that when it goes in the pouch and the guy falls over, he doesn't get injured. So that's a really nice item and very common, highly collectible, and it's Private Ryan. Other films employed them, following Private Ryan because stocks that weren't sold were kept back and were used as pouch fillers in other movies such as the Band of Brothers but if you see one of those they are specifically originally made for Private Ryan so we'll take a look at it this is one of quite a few hundred that I acquired after the filming and this believe it or not is the only one I've got left the others went like that to collectors all over the place so if you ever see one that's what it's from Private Ryan so we'll take a look at it anyway So a lot of the prop stuff was quickly swallowed up and quite a lot of it, particularly if it's named to a character, goes for quite a lot of money nowadays. But this is one of the most commonest items you can find. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds on a molded clip. And they were molded end to end because the end isn't particularly well dated. Although, although the detail of the end of the bullets is in the molding, there's no gap between the two because obviously that there would be gaps on the real rounds so that's still got rubber in, inside it so that that's just the way they were pulled out of the mold they were never painted never detailed up never cleaned up you know they were, they were never carved to show the individual rounds because they just went inside pouches that's got a bit of paper and glue on it because it was it was stuck on a descriptive card when i had a box full of quite a few hundred of them which sold out many many years ago and we swapped to various collectors and things like that. So if you ever see one, that's Saving Private Ryan. And it's probably the most commonest item that you can find. And because they were cheap at the time, a lot of people bought them. A lot of stock was reused for Band of Brothers. And is subsequently sold as Band of Brothers items. But originally, they were made for Saving Private Ryan. So I want to keep an eye out for. And as I say, it's not, although it is solid, it's not hollow. It isn't hard rubber like a model kit. It's it's like it's spongy rubber, like a car mat. It's not porous, but it is it does have quite a lot of it has quite a lot of giving it. That's because when you have the belt full, the guy falls over, he doesn't damage himself on it. So just a nice simple item. Probably cost a few pence to make, but now getting really collectible. Private Ryan, eight round Garand rifle clip. 